how are we all? I hope you're all well. It's time for a monthly favourites video again and it's actually been a while because my last favourites was my 2018 beauty favourites. I will link that up here if you missed that out but it meant that I didn't do a December favourites. So this video was so easy to put together. I literally sat there and wrote a list in like five seconds. I have things that I am desperate to share with you, desperate to show you and talk about. Um, also feeling, I'm just feeling very risky in this. Like why did I not just put pajamas on? But we're doing this, I'm fresh out the shower. I love doing these videos because they are just so nice to make. I've literally just got out the shower and now I'm gonna do my skincare, talk you through that. I'll take you into the front room, talk you through makeup style. And I have some random favorites this month, which I am very excited about. But yeah, this month, it's been kind of a crazy one. I'm filming this at the weekend, um, but when you watch this video, I'll be going to Norwich tomorrow and then Toronto at the weekend. And I'm doing a book event in Toronto on the 4th of February. So I think that's next Tuesday and I cannot wait. I will link all the information down below. It's all on my Instagram page, saved in like the events highlight, book events highlight. All the information, everything you need to know is there. Um, but yeah, I, I cannot wait to see Atlanta. Um, hopefully we're going to do some videos together and yeah, it's just going to be a really nice beginning of February. I'm into it. Anyway, on to favourites. Going to have to do a rewrap before <laughs> every single section, but my first favourite is one that if you saw my skincare favourites video, I'll link that up here for you. You would have seen me talk about this and rave about this. It is the Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Facial Mist. And um, Caroline talks about it all the time. Um, it's, oh, it, it's just heaven in a spray bottle. I think I said that in the video as well. I'm basically just gonna repeat myself, um, but it is the best facial mist I have ever used by, by an absolute mile, by a country mile. Um, I take a lot spritzes all over my face I just cleanse my skin if you want to see my skincare routine and what I'm currently using check out that video because it's basically got everything um but in terms of facial mist this feels oh I forgot to put my earrings in um this just feels like you're actually doing something I feel like so many facial mists you put on and you just forget about them you're just like mm, did I put facial mist on can't remember can't feel it this feels like putting on a serum almost, but in spray form. I feel like it's really made a difference in the moisture levels of my skin. Um, I love it, I travel with it, I take it everywhere with me. I'm very, very close to needing a second bottle. And I bought a backup already because I just don't want to be without it. So I've just done eye cream and serum and now I'm ready for some moisture. And this video contains quite a lot of Katie Jane Hughes favorites. Um, over Christmas, I became obsessed with Katie Jane Hughes. I've watched every single one of her Instagram highlights. If there is an Instagram live, I am there. Mark is like, oh, can we do this? I'm like, no, sorry, Katie Jane Hughes is live on Instagram right now and I need to watch it. She is just so talented, so relaxing, and the makeup that she does is so dewy and beautiful and glowy. Um, it definitely has like an editorial edge. Like I was watching one the other day, she was doing like a lime green liner, but it was so beautiful. And the way she does makeup is so subtle and it makes you think, yeah, I could wear a lime green liner. I'm so into it. I really want to do a colorful makeup look and um, probably when I'm doing my everyday March videos. Let me know what color you want to see. I feel like maybe a blue or a pink. I just adore her and um, so all of her favorites i write a list when i watch her videos and one of the things that she talks all the time about is actually the um the walida skin food as well i've got that down here um i use this more on my body she occasionally uses this on her face as a very intense very <laughs> hydrating moisturizer and personally i'm actually going to use a bit of this on my elbows i've got psoriasis on my elbows and i feel like this does a really good job at kind of keeping the worst of it at bay. Um, it's a very thick balm. She calls it nappy rash cream, but for adults. Um, I'm just gonna pop some of that on my elbows, but that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the Skin Food Light, um, which I think was recently bought out by Walida. It looks a little something like this. Um, this is 75 mil, this is 30 mil. Bit tricky to find in the UK. I know she's based in New York. In the UK, I could find it on Amazon, I think Liberty. I got it off of Amazon with the Skin Food Lip Balm, which is also very nice. Um, and also smaller skin foods so that I can travel with them. And I really like it. Um, it's very much like the skin food, the normal one, um, but just a little bit lighter. So not as heavy or kind of claggy feeling. If you're using it on the face, it's got a little bit more slip to it, but it's equally 
hydrating, moisturising, leaves my skin feeling really glowy. But sometimes what I do is I take my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream SPF 30 and I kind of do a blend of the two, mix the two together, then I've got a bit of protection on my face. Can you see that? Do I look glowy? Hopefully. Um, and because it is a little bit thicker, it really forces you, oh, we're losing, we're losing, we're losing the towel. I was going to say, because it's a little bit thicker, it forces you to have more of a massage with your face and I'm really into that, especially around here, it gets very dry. Um, so it forces you to melt the product into your skin perhaps more than you would. The closest thing to it that I've tried would be the Glossier Priming Moisturiser Rich. They're very similar, I'd say this has like a little bit more of a texture that you can feel in between your fingers, like once you've applied it, like I can still feel it in my hands, which is really nice and moisturising, so yeah. Very much into that, very much in to Katie Jane Hughes. The final favourite that I have for my bathroom is from Tan Lux and it is the Gradual Illuminating Gradual Tan Lotion. And um, you can see where I'm at too. Oh look, it's there. Um, given that I've given this like quite a fair amount of like all over body uses, I'm really impressed that I'm only down to there. A little goes a long way. This is unlike any other tanning product that I've used. It's very much a milk. You put it in your hand, it's kind of watery but still creamy at the same time and it goes onto your skin almost like a serum. The smell the next morning, it, it still does smell a little bit of fake tan but it is far far less than other products that I've tried. It's not too chickeny and if anything it's more like fruity. I mean I am, I'm still pretty pale but I feel like this just takes the edge off during the winter months. It's given a slight warmth to my skin. I've been trying to do it sort of every two-ish days so I have a day where I have a shower, have a bath, apply this when I get out. So easy to apply. I don't even bother with a mitt. I don't do any of that. I just put it straight on with my hands, give my hands a good wash after. And I haven't had any problems with them getting too orange. And then the following day, I'll do an oil. I'm really into these, actually. The Susan Kaufman, Kaufman, Kaufman body oils. I bought these from Space NK. They annoyingly went into the sale, um, but they are so, so nice. A great gradual tanner that doesn't go orange, that doesn't streak, and it's just very easy and quick to use. I'm into it. My parents are going to pop round for an unscheduled coffee stop. So I think we're going to work the Lord Farquaad hair slightly more than uh, usual. I'm going to let it air dry and just see what happens so that hopefully I can get this video completed before they arrive and we uh, lose the light. But just like the bathroom bits, I was so excited to share with you. I have some things here that I've been desperate to share with you for like the last eight weeks. Um, the first one is, again, oh, it's another Katie Jane Hughes favourite. What a surprise. It is the Zoeva 134 Luxe powder fusion brush. Now, you guys know that I love the Zoeva, what one is it? The 228 Luxe crease brush. I have one, two, three, four? Four, yeah, four, just in here. And you can see I use them all the time. Um, I use one of them for eye primer to blend it in. I think this one's got matte groundwork on it. This one's got the either Mac Sober or the Anastasia Beverly Hills Caramel. And look, one spare one. Katie uses this one in various different ways. It's billed as a powder brush, but she actually uses it for concealer. And I was like, oh, that is fascinating. She uses her Glossier Stretch Concealer as a tinted moisturizer. And she basically just like dabs her brush in, gets a little bit of product, and then just blends it where she needs it. And not only does it look like the most relaxing thing in the world when she does it, it really, really works. I've used this method a ton over the last month. Um, I've got a base on now because I'm filming. I'm hopefully going to record a video after this as well. So I want a little bit more coverage than I usually do. But what I've been doing is just on really like no makeup makeup days or maybe I'm between events and I know I'm going to put more of a base on later. But I just want a little something during the day whilst I'm travelling and on trains. It's so easy just to do a light dab. And really you need to do a light dab because actually this brush can pick up quite a lot of product. And then you just blend it in. Really chuffed with this purchase and it's just given me a new way to use the um, stretch concealer, which I was a big fan of already anyway. I've just added on some bronzer. Um, if you want to know what makeup I use like between these little sections, it's always in the description box below with literally everything that I mentioned. Um, this product, oh, oh, I've been very excited about this one. It is the Becca Glow Glaze Stick. You guys know I love a cream highlighter. The Glossier Halo Scope highlighter is basically all I've used for maybe the last like two years. This is very similar, pretty much in the same vein, but I would say that it has less pigment to it and more shine. Can you see that on my fingers? Like it actually looks wet. Like this is the wettest highlighter, that sounds so gross, um, but it's definitely the wettest highlighter that I've used. There is no way that I would put these stick products directly onto the face. I just feel like you move around 
all of the product that you put underneath it. So I always love to, I mean, you could take this on the Katie Jane Hughes brush and like dust it on. I personally go for fingers, really get the product nice and warm. And um, some people would see that as a waste of product, but actually I feel like your fingers don't soak up any of the product and you get more on your face. And um, I feel like you look sweaty, kind of in a good way when I use this. I really, really, really like it. I'm not sure I could pick a favorite between it and Glossier. I feel like they're kind of similar. This is almost just like the translucent version of it, um, but I still like the Glossier, but this is just something a little bit different. And um, yeah, I feel like I get a real glow and wetness to the skin when I use this. I think the combination of everything that I've been using, like the Walida and this, and just using so much oil on my face, it's doing good things. I feel like it just, can you see that? I've turned down the exposure a bit. Um, maybe you can't, but I just feel like you get such a gorgeous glow with this product. Really impressed. Um, it's gonna last you a really long time as well. I've just rolled it down all the way. I've used it for about eight weeks and you can still see like the slightest bit of that top nub. Like it's gonna last me absolutely long. Um, but on to lips and I'm kind of cheating. I have two favorites. I only normally have three makeup favorites, but this month it's four. It's been a couple of weeks. Um, the first one is the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Ribbon Lipstick. Oh, this is so good. Um, my camera isn't good enough to pick it up, but it genuinely has a velvet texture. Anyone who's come round, God, I'm making my eyes go funny then. Ooh. Anyone who's come round and has an interest in beauty, um, at New Year's I have my friends over, and I was like, look at the texture of this lipstick. It's got like the finest, I want to say bubbles, but they're, they're so, so, so small, that gives it this fabric texture. It genuinely looks like velvet, in the tube, but it also looks like velvet on your lips. Um, I'll put two photos here of when I've worn it recently and I absolutely adore it. It's the most beautiful formula in that it is completely matte, completely shine free, completely doesn't suck and zap moisture out of your lips at all. It is so comfortable to wear. It doesn't drag on the lips. It's just absolutely heavenly. I apply it kind of directly out of the bullet and then I also use the Zareva 238 Lux Precise Shader. It just looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more lived in, um, lasts really, really well. I'm so, so impressed with these. Lisa, please bring them back. They're like chic Pokemon. I need to catch them all. <laughs> but the one I'm going to put on my lips today is from NARS. It is the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Skin Tight. Um, I always end up buying the kit they come out with for Christmas that tends to have four or five velvet matte lip pencils in. They are usually limited edition colors and they're always just very good value, really interesting colors. I love this formula, especially for bolds. But I also like their nudes, but I feel like their nudes in their normal lineup aren't that fab. But this was part of their holiday collection um, for 2018. I saw it full price and I was interested. I was like, mm, I like it. Then I went into Space NK and they had it as part of their sale for just such a good price. I was like, I need, I need to give these a go. Out of the four shades, I will 100% wear all four of them. They're all nudes. Um, some of them are a bit more tawny, a bit more berry, lean a bit darker. Um, but this one is the lightest one and the pinkiest one that they have. And it's by far my favorite. Skin tight, if I haven't mentioned it already. It's just a very easy color to wear and you can barely see it. It's coming across quite pale on camera. It's definitely not that pale and nude in real life. Um, but I really like this set. If they've still got it in, I will link it down below. I've seen it for sale on a couple of websites, so I'm sure it'll be available still on one of them. I'll link them down below. Love this shade. Time for style favorites. And um, this is the last time you're gonna be seeing this wardrobe. By the time we do the next monthly favorites video, it's gonna be new, new wardrobes. There will be lots of videos of me like organizing things in here. I'm up for that. Um, but I wanted to share with you three things that I've really been enjoying this month. Um, and the first thing, are these a leopard print denim jean yes yes i am thoroughly into them they were one of my very few sales purchases that i made i originally saw these on monique's blog and um, i will link down to her below her instagram is beautiful it might have been on her instagram actually i think she was wearing them she posted them on an instagram swipe up i was like yep yeah, these are incredible they're a straight leg a really gorgeous fit and they are leopard print and they were a very very good price in the sale and um, they're from alexander wang mm, how fancy um i will link them down below for you but yeah i am so into these i've been wearing them a lot with my very basic very black wardrobe and they definitely uh jazz things up i wanted to give a shout out to this from and other stories and um, it's from last winter but i think 
think they still sell it and I think they actually have it in more colours. It's just their basic wool, like a very thin turtleneck. Um, I find myself wearing this all the time. Not only is it great as a base layer, it's really good to wear under shirts, dresses, camisoles, anything like that. It's very tight and close to the body. You can see it's sheer, but it's not too sheer. It's not like, oh my God, if I wore this to my grandparents, they'd be horrified sheer, you know? It's just a very good, versatile piece. I found myself wearing it a lot, especially under chunky knits. Like sometimes you need something closer to your body under a chunky knit. It works really, really well as that. Um, yeah, it's just a great, it's basically like a chic thermal layer um, and I just want to give a shout out to it because they still have it in stock and I just find myself wearing it all the time. I was going to have a little chat about clothing and I feel like this year more than ever you're going to be seeing like the same things over and over again. I mean everyone's saying it, everyone's doing it, we all want to spend less, buy less and just use what we've got more. Um, and I've sort of made a couple of rules for myself, I'm not sure I'm willing to share them just yet and be fully held accountable for them, um, but I actually have completed them in January so I'm very very chuffed about that. I'm sure I'll let you in on them at a later date, um, but obviously being a blogger I'm very kindly gifted things from time to time, but this month I've really just like taken that down a notch and said you know what, it's very kind of you but I'm okay. But I just want to mention these boots which were very kindly sent to me last year by and other story so I feel like I'm really rambling here but I just wanted to throw that out there and just be like it's very nice to be sent things but I really want to take it down a notch because I just don't need <laughs> new things all the time and um, but they did very kindly send me these last year I think they're just called the lace up leather winter boots on their website I will link them down below for you these boots are so trendy right now and when I got them Mark was like whoa that is a look that is just like unlike anything that you've ever worn on your feet before but obviously going to Canada I feel like I needed something a little bit more chunky with like a proper I mean look at those look at that grip um I feel like I needed something that was chunky that would actually keep me warm that would mean that I wasn't slipping about all over the place and I feel like these really really do the ticket it got to the point that that style of shoe were just on my saved section of Instagram all the time um so when they kindly asked if I would like anything I picked those out and I am so happy with them. The one thing I would say, they take wearing in. They are chunky, they are real leather, they get there eventually, um, but you definitely need to dedicate the time to wearing them in. But they've been such a great piece to style, especially if, like me, you've got a lot of like ankle cropped denim. They keep me much warmer than any of my other boots, and they've just been a very good option for if I'm doing more like a casual weekend kind of look. I've worn them so much more than I thought I would, and yeah, just basically giving a thumbs up to like hiking, walking winter boots. Finally, let's talk about some random things. I'm doing quite well Oh, my parents still haven't arrived we're still going this is good um I've actually had these since I feel like October November time and I just keep forgetting to share them with you and I just absolutely love them they're the Apple AirPods and when I first saw someone wearing these I genuinely thought in my head what dick I just thought they were a very show-offy piece of kit but then I bought them for myself. I can't remember what made me buy them. I think I just wanted some wireless headphones. I use my Bose ones all the time, but I wanted some like little ones that I could throw in my bag. Bose ones are great for traveling, great for when you're like around the house, really good for editing. But I wanted some that I could just like throw in my bag and go on the train with. And actually when it came to wireless like little headphones, there's not that many on the market. If you have any dupes for these, any recommendations, pop them down below. But actually these were kind of priced in a way that when I compared them to those, I was like, oh, they're kind of not that horrendous. Bought them, have been in love with them ever since. Um, it, they come in this little case and you like charge them through the case. The case charges them when they're in there. And then they're just like little mini headphones that you stick in. Um, I have these in so, oh, they've just connected. I have these in so much and actually it's really handy because when we do the cleaning i put these in mark puts my bows in and we're just like yep yeah, listen to my podcast having a great time whilst doing the cleaning i also like that you can charge them up with the same adapter that you can for your phone it just makes it very easy that you don't have to pack another charger whereas for my bows i do so i quite like that it's just the iphone charger easy handy love them my next favorite i've just had to slip off of my feet. Um, if you've seen some of my vlogs, you would have heard me talk about the UGG slippers and just what a wonderful piece of kit they are. Um, I have to say big love to the Missa McCrew and Lucy Williams who very kindly gifted me these when I went on a little stay over holiday with them. At the beginning of December, um, I was like, oh my word, this is the best freebie I've ever been given. These are amazing. And yeah, they actually are. I would have never 
bought these for myself. I've been like, absolutely no way am I ever spending that amount of money on a pair of slippers. I have to be honest about that. Haven't been given the chance to like road test them and give them a proper go. They are just so, so, so good. Um, I'm obsessed with them. I'm basically just gonna buy them for every family member for any birthday that we've got coming up. I've encouraged everyone in my life to get them. People come around, I'm like, you need to slip your feet in these and let me know what you think. And everyone is like, yeah, you're right. They're just so nice, so cozy. I mean, are they chic? I'm, I, I don't know. I think they're quite chic. If you can ever find them in the sale, in whatever color they are in, grab them. They're incredible. Um, if you fancy a treat yourself moment, these are what you need. So those are my January favorites. Everything will be linked down below as always. Always. thank you so much for watching thank you so much to everyone who has bought my book supported it taken it out of the library shared it online reviewed it come along to one of my events it's been so incredible meeting you guys like this month is just one of those months in my life that I am never ever going to forget and I just cannot wait there's even more events to come Toronto next week I cannot wait to see Alana I cannot wait to see some of you guys um so yeah I'm really really looking forward to it I hope you've been enjoying two videos a week I am back into the swing of things I've actually really been enjoying making video content so thank you so much for watching subscribing I really really appreciate it and uh, yeah I'll see you on Sunday with a brand new video bye